original choice for Math Standard um, was because of the fact that I wanted to continue on um, studying a good and rigorous program of maths because I do want to continue with a science related course in university and you do need a sufficient maths level course for that. However, I didn't decide to do higher level because I thought that I could use my other science subjects to um, do that and I'd heard that it was uh, it required quite a lot of time and I thought that math standard level was more than sufficient enough. My choice was math standard and what influenced my choice was the fact that I wanted to continue to gain an understanding of mathematics and in the future for university I hope to gain or I hope to study a scientific course. Well originally I chose standard level maths because I thought it would be necessary for the university courses I wanted to study and a lot of teachers, well, a lot of other people I talked to from universities said that a studies maths course wasn't very impressive when they looked at your list of subjects and it was considered like a lesser subject. So I originally chose standard to look impressive. I originally chose math studies because I wouldn't have chosen maths to do at A level and I don't want to study maths in the future. So uh, I chose math studies because it, that's, yeah, that's why I chose math studies. I wanted to study economics in university and this was preferred. Um, the thing that influenced my choice to do higher maths was because I wanted to do engineering in um, university, but I ended up wanting to do architecture instead, but it was too late to change, so. I wanted to do engineering at university, so I needed a higher math course to be adequate for that course. Well, when I was actually contemplating between high level and standard level, my teacher ta um, asked me to think carefully of how I would be able to use both the courses later on after West Island. And I realized that um, even though biology and just science in general requires quite a high level of maths. The standard level course is quite rigorous and the material taught would be, um, would be sufficient for later on as well. Um, initially the teachers were of course enthusiastic towards my choice but um, towards I didn't exactly get the best GCSE grade for maths. I got a B. However, they encouraged me to do the course because I was capable of doing so. Well, I had standard lessons for about a month and a bit and it was, although I had an A for GCSE maths and I thought I could cope with it, it was actually quite difficult and it's kind of university level almost. It's definitely A level maths and to have that alongside five other subjects is quite stressful, especially when maths isn't your strong point, which is my case. So I decided to change to maths studies instead. The advice the teacher gave me was to work hard and just not slack off and if I did that then I would be able to cope with it. My math teacher told me that even if I do get A star in GCSE it doesn't mean that I should do higher maths because the courses are really different and um, GCSE is a lot easier than I am, uh, IB, even standard. So. Even if, you, even if you got A star in GCSE, you might not be able to get a level 7 for standard maths. So. The advice that my teacher gave me was that math higher is a lot harder than GCSE. So even if you got an A star, don't think that you're definitely going to pass higher. The first probably four topics are quite similar because they're just moving one step further in terms of differentiation or quadratics or functions. However, once you get on to the newer topics such as um, integration and sequences and series and um, normal distribution and things like that, it's quite different. But the fundamentals lie within the course at GCSE, so it's probably a um, good idea to revise that before choosing the course. The course is very different from the standard level in GCSE. From GCSE, it's just getting the basic understandings whilst standard level takes it to the next level. Um, a lot of my teachers said that I should do studies maths because I wasn't really 
maths wasn't my passion in terms of subjects, so they recommended doing studies, and I think I should have listened to them in the first place, probably. So I'm glad I'm doing studies now. My courses, the, it builds on GCSE stuff, uh, which, so you, we use what we learnt at GCSE as sort of a foundation, and then we, we take it, we extend that, we build on that, and so it's quite interesting. This course is pretty different to GCSEs. It's, it's a pretty big jump, but I mean everything is in the textbook, and like you've learnt some of the stuff before. So, and then whatever you haven't learnt, you learnt now. So it's okay. For GCSE, it's a lot more straightforward, and once you know the basics, you can do basically any of the questions. But for higher level, you have to you have to know the basics really, really well, and then you have to think how to solve the problem on top of it. The current math hire course that I'm doing is very different from GCSE. First of all, it's a lot more hardcore. Second, you have to really think outside the box. It actually requires a lot of your creativity in thinking about how you could approach the question. Instead of like GCSE, you can just apply some formulas. But in higher math, you have to think about which formula to apply. My advice to the year 11s would be think carefully about what you think you're capable of and what you think you have the time for and also think a little bit about what you want to do after school and how applicable the course that you're choosing would be for that. The advice I would give is to choose a subject which they are more than capable of doing though and which are willing to work hard on. I would tell them to seriously consider their abilities in maths and I would say only if you are going to be getting an A star in maths would you be doing standard level, I would say. Um, I'd say to the Year 11s, do what you think you can do, not what you think you should do. If you want to take higher maths, you have to be willing to do maths all the time so that you get really familiar with the questions and how they ask things because they do ask questions really differently from GCSE too. This may sound mean but if you're not predicted an A or an A star just don't think about math higher because it's really hard and you have to spend a lot of time on it and be dedicated to math so if you don't think you have that kind of dedication then don't choose math higher.